Hey there, it's Melissa with Atlas CFO. Today we're covering one of the top mistakes we see contractors make when they're investing in their business. Now another way to spin this is how much money do I have available to buy things? So let's get started. We contractors love equipment. It builds the balance sheet. It should increase our profit through proper utilization of the equipment and it gives us future cash flow and an asset to sell. There's a lot to love. In fact, we find contractors just naturally want to buy something when they have a little bit of excess cash. And although that's great, and sometimes it works so well for us, it also can be one of our biggest mistakes. We can see that sometimes investing in equipment can kill our working capital. It overloads our debt. It can create cash flow problems because we just can't keep up with the payments. And it actually can hurt productivity if we're not utilizing our assets to the fullest extent. So although we've got this awesomeness of assets and equipment and building the balance sheet, there's the other side of it. And if not utilized properly, if we're not investing in our business properly, we can have the opposite effect and actually hurt our business. So how do you know which one it is? Well, I'm going to give you a really quick test of whether you have the right piece of equipment or not. And I call this just a really quick litmus test. And here's how it works. I want you to look at a piece of equipment. It could be a truck. It could be uh, a lift. It can be anything. Actually, it could even be inventory. I want you to look at it and I want you to imagine instead of that piece of equipment sitting there, I want you to imagine a stack of cash that is worth the same amount as that piece of equipment. And then you get to choose. Would you rather have the stack of cash or would you rather have that piece of equipment? This one little test makes such a big difference because when you imagine it being a stack of cash, you start thinking about that piece of equipment or that inventory or that asset differently because it has to earn more than it's worth in cash. So now that we're going to identify how we can make our money work hard for us. So we've just gone through that it could be awesome to build equipment and assets, and it could also hurt us. We've also identified that there's a really quick test that we can do with our existing equipment. But now what? So now I've got a little bit of money to spend. How do I know what to spend it on? There's a lot of choices. I could buy assets. I could cover next year's costs. I could pay bonuses to our employees. Ooh, I could build some equity in the company, build up our working capital, or do I need to pay taxes? Guess what? These are the exact same questions that we had as contractors, and these are exact same questions our clients have now. What do I do with the money that I'm earning, and how do I get the best bang for my buck whenever I've got money to invest in the business? So what we did is we created a calculator to solve this very problem. It's very simple, but we were able to take what we're earning and identify the key things that we want to spend our money on and also think about the best way to invest back in the business. But hang on there. You think, okay, great, let's just do a calculator. But it's actually not that simple. Before you can go right into a calculator that tells you how much excess you have to spend, you have to first say, what are the goals that I have in my business? Is this something that I want to build my equity? That actually changes the direction and the focus of how you look at investing in the company. You may say, oh, I've got these employees I really want to take care of. That also changes the direction and the way that you invest in the company. So before you move into the calculator and you identify how you want to invest in your business, you got to figure out what you're really gunning for, what you're really looking for, what you're really trying to get in your business so that you know that you've taken your money, your hard earned money, and you've invested in the best way possible for your construction company. So your assignment is to jot down a few goals and we're actually going to cover this in our next segment in all access. So you can watch the next segment on goals and some things to think about, about how you want to invest in your business. And then we'll move into the calculator. 
I enjoy spending time with you. Thank you so much today, and I'll talk to you soon. This is a clip from our longer training in Atlas CFO All Access. If you are interested in joining and getting access to over 60 other construction business resources, head over to atlascfo.com. You can then click on the Atlas CFO All Access, fill out the information once you click the Get Help Today, and you will be granted access into our portal. Once you're in the portal, we have over 60 resources available to you. And you can see we're just giving you a quick rundown of everything in there so you can see what's behind the wall. You can cancel anytime and we'd love to have you a part of our family. Thank you.